Now, days after devastating floods hit the North African country of Libya, the nation's Red Crescent confirmed that the death toll was 11,300. But now the United Nations has released an updated figure which is much lower than what was reported over the weekend. According to the World Health Organization, the amended data now states that over 3,900 people were in fact killed due to flooding across the coastal town of Derna. The revised report also brings down the number of missing people to around 9,000 now. According to the deputy spokesman for the UN Secretary General, the organization is now going to be going by the revised death toll released by the WHO. On the other hand, Libyan Red Crescent Society denied any such claims and said that the agency never released the over-exaggerated death toll to the UN. In a statement, the Libyan Red Crescent spokesperson said, and I'm quoting it here, we are shocked to see our name mixed up with these figures. They add to the confusion and distress of the families of the missing. Now, according to UN officials, the death toll figures are still being updated. The United Nations had earlier pointed out that most of the deaths due to the floods in Libya's Derna could have been averted only if early warning and emergency management systems functioned properly. Derna city, which bore brunt of the flooding caused by Storm Daniel, was split into two. This gave rise to yet another threat, the threat of an epidemic, adding to problems like shortage of food, shelter and medicines. People whose homes were swept away by flooding faced a major dilemma whether to stay and risk infection or flee through areas where landmines have been displaced by the floodwaters. Now, the city faces a major threat of cholera outbreak and other waterborne diseases as well. International organizations have warned residents against mass burials, especially near water bodies, as these could pose a health risk. We have a إن المكانات المتضررة احتمال حيكون فيه عزل عن منطقة درنا ما ما غبت أو مخافة إن يكون في أمراض أو أوبئة فنحن Libyan authorities confirmed that 150 people were poisoned by consuming contaminated water in the flood-hit areas. Climate experts have said that Storm Daniel's impact was made worse by old crumbling infrastructure and inadequate warning. 